Welcome to JDNBI.com. This is John's report. It's for the 7th of July. And, well, we had a bit of a sell off. Uh, we broke below the KBM values. We still couldn't get uh, the reset uh, crossover. Um, they had the makings of some stuff, but we needed to get a little bit uh, more of a break below with the steel. Um, and it would be nice to see the orange break down below. Um, so we're still pretty much where we've been, which is still on a minor sell signal. NASDAQ really um, pretty much flatlining the exact same portion. Now it actually had a crossover, so the NASDAQ actually should be starting to hold up. And if it doesn't do something here, now that we've got the dip below the orange, uh, then we've got a secondary divergence. Uh, Euro actually gaining on um, US weakness. And that will. Well, it should provide some support to it, uh, but it's also an indication that we don't have new money flowing in from Europe. Uh, we should have started to see some of the money from uh, America coming into it. So obviously there's uh, an increased amount of selling uh, into any new purchasing, which uh, that's a little bit of a warning sign. Uh, we can't ignore what is simply because we want to, or think that something should go another way. We just go with what the readings are, and this is a continuation on TLT, also showing weakness. A little bit of flight to quality there as things started to deteriorate. It held up, but still, major decline uh, overall. But then and we expected that. We expected to come up back down to this breakout move that took place. Um, and that's actually what we're seeing right there. Not crazy at all. And USO, uh, we expected a backfill in that one as well because we didn't believe that this one would have a whole lot of legs to it. We just expected it to. Uh, come up, get overdone, and fade from there. Got overdone the other day right here at the peak, and sure enough, faded a little bit from there. Still holding up fairly decent, but then hasn't broken the green EVM, which we would expect that to then lead to a full retrace of the move. Hasn't taken place just yet. And gold basing at the bottom, this could be a flight to quality in this situation now, um, simply because uh, fear, uh, particularly at this was exactly much of a sell off for the ES. Um, hard to, uh, worth noting, other than it was uh, decent from a uh, trade standpoint because we ended up with the short signals that came in and we finally broke below the ABMs and then we just continued lower. Uh, we started to get a couple of decent readings as we broke down uh, the bottom. Uh, had a little bit of difficulty because we never got a reset of the um, steel with those, so we didn't you don't expect too big a run. Finally got the reset on the ABM, meeting all the criteria. Made a little bit of a run, but uh, couldn't sustain anything. And then ended up with the oranges above the close to 2.5, and then we started to cascade down again. Finally got oversold at the bottom. Hasn't reset the ABM on that because obviously with the steel plus 13.5, not enough uh, new buyers reset to really sustain any kind of move. It's starting to base now. Should see a little bit of improvement from it there, but still. Um, you know, people are going to be watching another 2400 number because uh, you break that, and I think that uh, there may be uh, an add on of the number of sellers. So, definitely uh, keep an eye on it, but it certainly shows that uh, the range and volatility that we talked about increasing is certainly doing just that. And I think that's worth playing. Uh, I did send out an update of the long and short algo. Uh, some people were having issues with it uh, showing up on the inner chart. Uh, this, uh, Update uh, the one that you see here. This long algo is the uh, long algo test uh, that has the adjustments uh, built into it uh, for recent purposes. So that's always a good one to have as well. As always, though, trade well. Uh, be leaving San Francisco uh, later tomorrow on Friday and uh, be back in LA uh, at the beginning of the week. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later.